print it straight to glass. 80 degrees on the heat bed. ABS at 145. And the only thing on the bed was Aquanet Super Hole. And as you saw, I mean, it was flat. It didn't break loose. It didn't pry. I mean, it's, it, it's flat. You can see it. No bowing. <clears throat> so, I found on most 3D printers, you, uh, the trick is temperature and adhere, adhesion. So, you get your first layer, you print it really close to the board at a slow speed. Uh, I don't use nothing else now except Aquanet on, uh, the glass. And it works for ABS, PLA, everything. And like you just saw, I mean, I was using a uh, Allen wrench, well, an Allen tool, and that's a two millimeter round, and it was bowing side to side. It didn't want to break loose, but uh, that's for a new extruder I'm building. I redesigned an old extruder design for bowing. Got screw on bowing fitting for it. It's a uh, that's funnel shaped in there so that it'll feed the filament will feed up into it real easy. And on ABS, I don't use a fan at all. The only fan on is the fan on the extruder. Um, this is an Ordbot from Punch Tech. I did convert it to a Bowden system. Um, I modified the J-head system uh, from Thingiverse. I cut the top off. Uh, made it a little bigger here because this is an E3D uh, Bowden head version six. And it's one millimeter, the groove's one millimeter bigger than the standard, so it was slop. So I had to make it a little wider. I put it on Thingiverse if anybody wants it. But it works great. I also added a little print fan for PLA to the printer. Um, but yeah, I made it into a Bowden system. Uh, you saw the print speed from the video. It prints good, prints fast. Uh, the Bowden system makes it a whole lot more reliable takes all the weight off of the carriage so it can move faster and uh, does a great job. Thanks. Have a good one.